All right, guys. Um, what I did here was I got uh, I got some uh, thinner in this spray bottle. I found this works best for me, and uh, <clears throat> instead of like a cup. And uh, I don't know how long it'll last, but. But this works pretty good in getting this grunge off, this grease. I didn't really want to use thinner because uh, thinner is going to make the paint soft if, if it doesn't strip it off in places. And uh, I really don't want to strip the paint because that uh, opens up a new can of worms. But uh, this is working good. I really wish I could power wash it, but <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to do that in here. Okay, so that worked really well, I think. And uh, see, we got all the grunge off of the the grease off of the car inside there. So I think that worked out pretty good. Now I'm going to uh, take some. Um, really soapy water and uh, wash her down real good and then uh, and then we'll go from there so I'll try to get it cleaned up here the best I can with some soap um, so that any any grease that's still on the car hopefully we can get that off with like Dawn dishwashing liquid so let me get that done guys it's pretty clean I think it's a very acceptable um, I didn't rinse any of the suds off or anything like that that soap's not gonna hurt a thing um, I took a took the air hose and dried it off best I could for the most part you see the mess we have down here I had the cardboard down there to catch the grease so I'm gonna pick that stuff up and throw it away and then I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it set here 
and uh, dry out real good and go do something else for a while. So, there we go. But uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it's pretty clean. I think uh, we'll just uh, scuff it and uh, pretty much it'll be ready to paint. Um, after we scuff All right, it, guys, I thought I'd show you what I do here. And this is typical of any car that I own. And uh, sorry about the, I've got to get my light here. But uh, I just use this Rust Oleum Flat uh, Protective Enamel. And I always paint my wheel wells and the underneath of my car with this stuff on the stuff that I own. And when I detail a car to flip or whatever, I use this instead of actually, you know, cleaning a wheel well, I'll just paint it black. So, am I painting over dirt and crud? Yeah, I am a little bit. I've just blown it off and wiped the heavy stuff off and, you know, it'll look nice. And, and uh, the car will get this treatment about every year. Um, you know, it's a rust preventative a little bit, and uh, yeah, you know, that's just the way I do it. So, I'm going to do it uh, be before I scuff the uh, inside of the uh, motor compartment because I'm sure I'm going to have some overspray, and I don't want to be painting my uh, my uh, automotive paint over this. So, that way. I can scuff it off. But I use this stuff for everything. I use it for guide coat, even though it's an enamel. Um, I just use it really light. But uh, yeah, so let's just get on it. Any place where there's any grease or anything like that, uh, as a general rule, I just take brake clean to it. and degrease it. Also works great for overspray after you paint a car. You know, you don't have to tape it off. Around the wheel wells, that's a lot of work. You know, and this ain't a 100 point restoration here. This is going to be a daily driver. So, I'll let that flash off there a little bit and give her another coat. And I'll be done. And this, like I said, this will just be typical of the whole entire car, wheel wells and bottom. So, just a quick, easy way to spruce things up and kind of give yourself a little bit of protection against rust if you live in a rust belt like I do here in Central Indiana. So, all right, guys.
All right, guys. Well, after much prep, and I mean a lot of prep, I have finally got this uh, engine compartment scuffed, degreased, and it's ready to paint. It's as ready as it's going to get. So, a lot of work. I got a lot of hours in this. So, I removed the uh, bumper core so I could stand up closer to the car to lean in. And uh, hopefully, she's going to come out good. <laughs> 